would say it's great and then they'll rub it. You got a chain. You got a chain in your way. Stop running around like a fool. Don't try to be so cool. We all just done with it. something happening out there in the stars unprecedented they have no contingency plans for this one a celestial epidemic but will displace them but what is it where do these butthole fools go who will become the next victim of the The severity of the situation is this. Everyone you know at any moment could be sucked in with their own ass right before your eyes. And you'll just be standing, smelling their shit. This is T H E N E W S. You're watching the news. It's been little over four years since the flatulation Class A vessel, the asteroid, set out on its five-year mission to uncover the secret behind the phenomenon we have all come to know as butthole displacement. American people are doing amazing work. It's great. Fantastic. You could say a lot of people are saying it. Yes, they're saying it's fantastic. And what amazing work. It's great. But what would we be without the American people? America, we fight. And they're fighting the war. We fight the US. We are in war with our both the enemy. Not only of our back door, the enemy is our back door. I've already received my ass. I have been tested. My ass all that is no early onset, but oh. We are number one to win and losing the soul perception. And if you think we are losing, just think we think you. America has the most cases when it comes to what all this place, but we are winning just the way you gotta look at this. I feel like this thing is just gonna go away. The American people are gonna wake up one day and it's all just gonna be gone. And it's gonna be good. Everyone in Hollywood will be good. It's gonna be you just think to bring it back. But all four of them not bring us to this stuff. America has to make America open again. And there should be a piece of money. But we won't let our essence steal from us. We need these visions. Many people have vanished since the death, but they do it every day, every minute. Some would say every second. You gotta look at the chart. In fact, no one should be so bad in the wild here city. But the people are black who are mad. Those who are not black, they're dangerous, toxic people particles. Partial distance from these good effects. The medic will ensure people keep a safe distance from others. In doing so, you are the risk of being sucked into someone else's vessel. I will keep both my eyes on the American people's asshole. The whole displacement is an epidemic. Back when it all started, you know, it was happening to me too. I could feel every now and then, like, my butthole would rumble a little bit, you know, I get that little butthole rumble, like a twitch in your butthole. I could tell that something was going on, you know, it, I, I'd seen it happening to people around, and I'd seen, like, you know, I'd heard of the disappearances and all of that, you know, but what scared me the most was every time, you know, I would, I would do something and, you know, I'd be standing there and I'd feel my butthole kind of twitch a little bit, and I was really afraid that, you know, that would be the day that I disappeared in my own ass, too just wasn't, 
it wasn't a life I wanted to live, you know. and most beloved starship among the stars. Captain Butch and Smurf, how goes it? And how is Earth's most iconic vessel? We want to know. That ship has touched the hearts of people all over the world. For a lot of us at home, it is our light in the darkness, our only hope left. Oh, yeah, that ship. Yeah, Cap, that ship. Don't leave us hanging. Uh, back that shit. She's gone. Ransacked by partial pirates. Cracked and flown out from the back. Floating out there in space. Alone. Oh, no. That's... Horrible news. Tell us what happened to you. I used to play shows at the Deep Poo, but that was before everybody disappeared into their assholes. All these rich motherfuckers go up their assholes and leave us to clean up the town. This whole town smells like shit, worse than it did before. It's only a matter of time before our assholes consume us too. I'm afraid to take a shit because I feel like I might activate something. Keep an eye on my asshole while I sleep, would you? I don't want to disappear in the night. Yeah, it was, it was getting to the point where I had to, you know, me and my, me and my wife, we had to stay up. You know, we would take turns sleeping, um, keeping an eye on our, each other's buttholes. I'd have to watch her asshole while she slept, and she'd watch my asshole while I slept, just to be sure that we wouldn't disappear into our own asses. My name is Billy. I'm stuck inside here with my dog. We have to be inside 24 hours today, seven days a week. The windows are covered. We're shit and piss everywhere. If we go outside, the guards that are walking up the down the streets will see us and take us back to the partial testing camps and do tests on our buttholes. We found another partial. Get him on the table. We'll see if we can pull his head out. It's too dangerous. We don't know the repercussions. We might just have to push him the rest of the way through. <laughs> don't know what to do. We can't do this for too much longer. We're going to die. We're standing right next to this guy that got sucked into his asshole. I got covered in his shit. I had to go home and take a shower. I'm scared of smelling shit. The birds can't even stand it. they can do after it's happened you just kind of get sucked up there into your own ass on the scene at the deep coup interviewing some patients hi i'm kim i'm eldon's son and i deal with shit every day and piss i smell shit i deal with people playing with their shit Oh my and my ass is going to go up in my asshole. Yeah, but I, I went there and I saw shit in some. You'd like to buy any, I'll give you a good deal. 
I just hope my asshole doesn't decide to swallow me. What is it that causes them to have man-eating assholes? I miss the smell of the dead salmon. I miss the smell of the ripening olives. Oh, that's been overrun by the smell of the shit. So, so what's going on in uh, Plasterville? Are uh, people disappearing up their assholes there too? Yeah. And how frequently is this happening? Anyway. What have you experienced? Head first. Head first. Yeah, we're getting reports of that all over the world. I was told to pull your head out of your ass. And it didn't work. Oh man, sometimes we've been getting partial. We've been having the... We don't know if we could separate them. We find these people caught with just their heads up their asses. Well, suck my shit. Excuse me, sorry, we're uh, experiencing technical difficulties. Oh my goodness, that guy just went up his ass. Head first. All right, well, thank you, uh, but we're going to have to let you go. Somebody in the newsroom just went up their ass. Go outside? What? No way. No way. Lock that door. No, not happening. Major cities along the Interbus 5 have been reduced to craters due to the massive amount of people vanishing up their ass. Not happening. So, gotta keep that shut. I'm ready. Just about anything. I saw the other side one time on an acid trip, and, and uh, it was one time I was smoking weed at, at Harvard, and, um, well, a little, a little cocaine got involved, and let's just say that, uh, mamma wasn't there, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it, 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 it was one of those times it was like, it was like, it was like unexplainable. It was like one of the times that you couldn't, you, you, just, you couldn't bring it up to words, you know what I mean? It was, I was, I was, I was covered in shit, there was shit everywhere. I mean, there was the shit coming at me, there was a shit storm, it was, they called it ginormous because shit storm on the, on the, on the, on the, on the on the on the on the on the, uh, on the campus, they called it ginormous shit stormicus. It was the biggest thing I'd ever heard uh, anybody ever heard of around me. You know, it was the craziest thing. Girls were into it. There was poop everywhere. Um, they, they, everyone was growing out their hair so they could have poop in their hair. I mean, they were rubbing it all over each other. And you know, uh, um, well, I mean, the, well, the, the, psych, the psych said that that, 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 that was only this in my head. But I mean, it was obviously everybody's head because everyone grew their hair out to have shit in it. You know, I I don't know. I don't know. I just, <sighs> It's, it's one of those things, you know, that's, 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 that's you're never going to get rid of it. It's always, it always burns into you like, like, like Vaseline, you know, when you, when you love it and you use Vaseline in the apartment. It's, it's one of those, you know, finger-looking times of like, you know, maybe it was college, you know what I'm saying? I was on the stone a lot. It was crazy. It was, it was, it was things that girls never wanted to do before, you know. It was, it was just kind of, just kind of one of those the horny moment. Some planets have suffered destruction from extinction level portaling. The ship's mothered world still spins lifeless. Many a home empty. Many a home. Thank you. 
see what will portal kind of like this hoop. And the people are like this wall. Where do they go? Nice cup of coffee when I saw it. It was giant. Enormous. Bigger than my whole house. It was the wave of uh, shit. And I I tried to warn my grandmother. Doing all right. She wanted to die. The brown one. It's probably difficult for some of you to imagine a whole world, let alone a universe, existing in your asshole. But is it really that hard to believe? Many people go about their lives with their heads deep in their own ass every day. Some people even wear the asses of others. Our next guest was sucked partway into its own ass, resulting in partialism due to butthole displacement. So, you're a partial. Tell us what it's like inside the butthole portal. It's really creepy. It smells bad. Oh, it stinks. Is that what that is? I can smell it. It stinks. I don't like the stomach. Could you tell us a little more about what it looks like in there? Try to paint a picture for those of us who can't see the inside of our asses. Well, there are naked people everywhere. Floating in a sea of shit and trash. Ripped clothes. Big pieces of garbage that got sucked into the assholes when the people were in. People are crying and farting and disoriented. Humans of all shapes and sizes are bumping, smashing, and crashing into each other. All I hear is mate slaps, wails, and farts. Poopy bodies collide and poop splashes. Floating brown nets. Upon slippery, poopy collisions. It's like a spacey, shitty hell. Sounds like a terrible place. It kind of reminds me of another place. Eerily similar to what you described. I am a bridge between two worlds. All I ask is that you be good people. Don't let this happen to you. Be considerate of others. Treat others with kindness. Be true to yourself. Be the you and me. But all displacement can happen to anyone at the same time. You think partialism? Is bad. It can get a whole lot worse. You could be sucked all the way. Damn, I can see that 
world in my past. You don't want to be part of that world. I think this is a very important message, and I want to thank you for your time here today. Thanks again for coming on the show. Marshall In-Home Social Services will link you to the Butthole Portal. What are you waiting for? Did you lose someone you care about to butthole displacement? Then what are you waiting for? Pop your head in a butthole. Talk to your loved ones on the other side. Don't delay. Pop your head in a butthole today. Marshall in-home social services promises to find the perfect butthole for you and your family. Our partials are certified and pass all health and safety regulations. What are you waiting for? Partials are genetically modified humans created to further understand the butthole portal phenomenon. They have opened up the butthole, so to speak, on multi-turniversal communication. New measures taken to protect the people. Boycott driving to promote safety. Equality Act starting effect. Class societies abolished. Pride days begin. All I know is that this is one hell of a shitty situation. Scientists assume it's something that causes the assholes to react like a black hole. Do these people survive on the other side? The shitstorm in space is causing poopy precipitation all across the globe.
I am one of the lone survivors. It's just me and my dog. We're out here in the middle of a forest. Just, I got my fire. But as you can see, we're out here in the middle of the forest. We're trying to do our best to survive. From what is plaguing the world. This blood hole. Displacement. We are trying to do our best. To live off of what we have here. We're surviving and relying on the rain. The skies. Fall down. Otherwise we would thirst. As you can see, there are guards that walk through these forests on a daily basis. And as you can see, over the ridge is where they are doing testing. Marshals come in and out by the hour. I don't want to sow myself too much because they just might see me. But as you could see over up on this ridge, it's where they do are doing the testing. There's camps set up. It's where they bring in the partials. If they see us, that's where we go. But me and my dog, we're trying to do our best to survive here in these thick forests. We do not want to be captured. We are hungry. We are thirsty. It's just me and my dog. 
We don't know what every day is going to bring, but we know this. We must do everything to survive, and we must do everything in our power to remain hidden and silent from them. That's right, the camps, the testing, the butthole, displacement. We don't know what to do, but to remain hidden. These times are hard, and they are brutal. And again, do not want to be captured and be locked up over there. So please, anybody out there, save us. Help us. We're trying to survive. Do what we can to not become a partial. Um, yeah, I've been really scared. I'm scared of my butt because that's real scary. And 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 you you just have to get away. And the fumes. Smell. You have to. Uh, don't light a match. I hope everybody's all right. And you know, it's one of them things where many years ago we thought butthole portal was just an opinion. We never really thought of it as a reality. The people kept, you know, denying it. And here we are. Butthole displacement is the truth upon among us. And you know what? I just here I am being emotional about it. It's a real thing. And I just care for my loved ones. I don't want their buttholes to be affected by all of this. And I think we should do a better job of looking after each other's buttholes. Thank you. I think I can't do this no more. Um. Stop in the asshole. Bullshit. 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 Bullshit, the asshole. Bullshit, the asshole. Bullshit, the asshole. 